Hello there folks, here's an unboxing for the Nook um, touch device that I've just bought, uh, just uh, came in today. You see that uh, I ordered it from Sainsbury's in the UK and they delivered it in this uh, package to the shop which I collected. So I'm uh, just opening this up here and um, inside there's going to be a copy of the uh, invoice and the actual Nook device itself. So there's the invoice, nothing special, just delivery note to their address. Okay, enough of that, let's move on. And here's the actual package itself. So it's quite a nice uh, cellophane sealed package, pretty minimal. Um, quite a pretty little box in its own way. Um, quick description and guide on the back. Um, not an awful lot to say, really basic specifications and details. Um, looking around it, uh, it uh, looks like it's a slide out case. Um, picture on the front, Nook Simple Touch by Nook. So we'll uh, burst off the cellophane on this one and uh, let's uh, see what we can do and uh, let's get into this device. Okay, so just cutting open the cellophane. It's actually quite tough down there. I don't know what's going on, but that's... Uh, not cutting very well. Anyway, that's the cellophane uh, off the device now. So here's the box itself. It's not got an openable flap or anything which initially appeared. So, uh, okay, so we'll get this on end and uh, slide it out of this package. Okay, so here we go. And uh, yeah, very neat. Um, nice little insert there. Nice, safe, and secure. So if we open up the top flap, I guess we're going to find the device in there. And there she is. Um, no cellophane cover over the front of it or anything, which is a bit unusual. A uh, bit of foam on the front packaging. It's sort of reasonably well protected in there. Um, surprised that there's no cellophane anywhere though. But uh, still looks a business. It's um, came supplied with a powered off screen, which I'll uh, insert into the video here. Down the bottom there's a micro USB port and a couple of socket looking things that almost look like clips to hold it in place. Um, on the left and right hand side there's a forward and back buttons and uh, at the top there's a power on and on the side here there's a micro USB for uh, you know, uploading, putting on your own memory cards and things. <coughs> the machine comes with about 256 meg of uh, memory on board so you can use that but uh, there's the power switch by the way, right on the back, uh, quite subtle, uh, a bit glossy compared to the rest of it, but there you go, that's the main device. So here's the book, um, on close investigation it looks like there's about 12 pages of very basic guide, um, not an awful lot in there, um, a guide as to swiping, moving forward, moving back, um, fairly simple, but um, you know, useful while you're waiting for the device to charge. Here is the um, USB to micro USB, no sorry, USB to mini USB. Um, looks like it unwraps, yep it unwraps and we can uh, take that out. It's quite a long cable, must be what, one and a half to two meters or so. So um, it's um, <coughs> yeah, a good sort of four feet or so long there, um, decent cable. Other than the USB cable and the device itself there is nothing in the box. The device is meant to be charged from a USB port on a computer typically. So there's uh, nothing else in there, that is literally everything that comes in the box. So there you go, there's the Nook tablet itself. We'll carry on with a little bit more in depth on this video as well. As you can see there's not enough power for this to switch on right now. So we'll give it a quick charge and uh, see how we go on. Okay, so here's the uh, Nook now, it's come out of the box. Uh, I'm just going to set it up, choosing English and clicking Next. Welcome to your simple touch. So, checking for connection. So, okay, so it's found my Wi-Fi there. Uh, my Wi-Fi is called Ceiling Cat, so we'll choose that one. And um, we'll put in the key and uh, get ourselves going. So I'll type in the key and let's just hide the 
password and there we go okay so that's the password entered let's uh, hit enter and uh, go right so it's connecting connecting obtaining IP address okay so that's fine that's it up and running on the uh, Wi-Fi that was easy so we'll uh, get up to registering the device so it's going through showing the terms and conditions um, oh yeah 400 and yeah something pages yes I agree to that okay carry on and I agree and okay so it's now going to ask me to create my uh, Nook account as I don't currently have one at all so I'll go through filling out that form and uh, we'll come back to the next part of the video after we've done that okay so we'll just uh, start tapping through the menus here I've never seen one of these devices before for any extent so we'll just start tapping randomly through things so about your Nook owner, whoops, email address, model number, serial number, Wi-Fi, okay all the basic details that you'd need uh, available memory 236 meg so it's got about a quarter gig available not a lot you can do in there into the next option for screen settings um, the amount of time for sleeping and uh, the screensaver backdrop nothing interesting uh, time 24 hour formats time zone yeah whatever so language choose your handful of languages um, or oops, press that again by mistake and reader settings so page turn buttons yeah, dictionaries yeah dictionaries are English okay one dictionary that's fine with me and uh, well, let's continue through so we'll go down to the search option let's see what comes up there nothing really okay so we'll tap the bottom button and bring things up there go back to the main library and Nook user guides, these are the default things when you power it up and um, when it's ready uh, it will uh, load up and uh, we should see our uh, user guide oh error can I open this book? excellent ok let's try it again and this time it looks like it opened up absolutely fine um, so let's swipe through, yep, so it seems to accept swipe, it's reasonably good at it as well it feels quite good um, safety and care, let's touch on that, that seems to work fine swipe seems decent actually, the screen refresh is fine, I mean it's obviously not great there's buttons on the side for forward and back through pages uh, I have to say they're not the most comfortable buttons, they're quite hard work to find the sort of delicate, the, the the touch port basically um, I'll touch a nook button down the bottom again let's see switch the machine off and there's the backdrop screensaver um, no touch works there of course so we'll switch it back on and uh, swipe to unlock so it takes us back to where we were so that's us back to the main and let's go back to home and uh, there you go, that's back on the homepage.